Adobe Design to Print is a free plugin for Adobe Photoshop that makes it easy for you to take your artwork and create products for sale on Zazzle.com, where you can earn royalties for your creations, helping you turn your passion into a paycheck. What I'd like to do is to add some personalized text to my template so that I can allow my customer to maybe make this a little bit even more special for, their, for when they're gifting or using this particular product. If I go to Photoshop, I can add text using the regular Photoshop text tool. I just click on the text icon down here and I can draw a rectangle that's gonna hold the message. So let's say I'm gonna start off by typing summer 2020. Now I actually like to customize the color of this text. I'm using the brush script font, but if I wanna change the color, I click on the color tab here and actually I can use the eye dropper tool, pick a color from the background waves in my image so that the blue now is uh, the same sort of color as my background. So I'm within the palette I've got here for the colors. Let's add some more text in here. Let's talk about the name of our dog. So and we'll call it Yorkie's Beach. Okay, so these two layers that I have in my layers palette corresponding to the two rectangles I've drawn with the text. Now the summer 2020 I'd like to keep as constant for all the different designs that I might make with this particular cell phone case. But Yorkie's Beach, this is the name of the dock. So actually what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the text layer. I'm going to say new group from layers. I'm gonna give it the name. I've created a new group here which has the name of the beach. Then I'm gonna drag that down here underneath the portrait. Because I'd like the user to be able to customize this, this text, the Yorkies Beach text, what I need to do is go in here and double click on the name of the layer and again, put it in angle brackets. So at the right hand side, I'm gonna put a greater than symbol and at the left hand side, I'm gonna put a less than symbol. So basically my name is in angle brackets. And now when I hit the publish button and I select object level upload, then I have the ability under the personalize button to specify the name that I'd like to appear on the cell phone case. So rather than saying Yorkies Beach, I'm gonna change the name to Sunset Beach because that's the name of the beach that we visited. So my customers visiting my particular design, they can actually change the text that I've marked as personalized. The summer 2020, that wasn't labeled as personalized. It didn't have the angle brackets around, but Sunset Beach or Yorkies Beach did. One thing you'll notice is that the color and the size and the style of the font has been preserved as I brought the design from Photoshop up to the website. I'm seeing the same shade of blue and the same point size and the same font as I designed. If I wanted to, I could go back and make a change within Photoshop. I could change the text for Yorkie's Beach so that it was a different font. For example, let's use um, Arial Rounded. Let's change the point size and make it smaller. And let's change the color and maybe instead of the blue ocean waves let's change it and make it the same color as the sand it's not so easy to see maybe there we go the golden colors of the sand and if i were to publish this version of the design we'd see that that had been preserved and our friends could change the name and that would be there on their cell phone case Occasionally you might find a font that you're trying to use within Photoshop, which isn't available on the cloud. For example, if we'd taken Yorkies Beach and we changed the font and changed it instead to something like Harlow Solid Italic. This looks quite pretty on our cell phone case, but when we publish it, we see that this particular font isn't available. Instead, an alternate font has been substituted. As the designer, we can go in and customize this and change how we would like the design to look. We can just go and select the font and pick an alternate to the default font, which is Life Roman, and replace that with something else that we might like to use in our design. That's now the font that's going to be available for any of our customers to use. I hope you found this video useful. If you've not done it already, you can download Design to Print at this link. There are more helpful links in the episode description below. And be sure to check out the other videos in this series.